What if I told you that this was one of the best, if not the best, free Premiere Pro plugin that you'll ever use or that I've ever found? And I am telling you right now, that's what we're talking about. Welcome back to another video, guys. Thanks for tuning into the channel. I've been gone a little bit, been taking a little break, a little siesta for myself. But in today's video, we're going to talk about a plugin that I've been using the last few weeks in my own work and side work, client work, whatever. And the plugin that we're talking about today is called Premiere Composer. Now, if you haven't heard of it, it's been changing the game for me in terms of editing client work very quickly or at least making a lot of it way easier and we're going to take a look at it right now in this video so here on the screen is the website for the premiere composer also known as mr horse i don't know what that is but i'm pretty sure it's just the parent company of this product which is called premiere composer now it's not for everyone i will say that there's a lot of things that i don't use but there's a lot of stuff that you might want to use and that i think is pretty damn good considering it's free and if you bought the paid version it's like 10 times better which i might be buying soon because just frankly it's good and there's a lot of options to it so if you don't have it here on the website press try for free press download for either mac or windows whatever you're using then once you open the application on your computer you'll get this pop-up asking you if you want to install you know whichever one you want in my case i'm going to install after effects and premiere pro so i'm going to go ahead and install all if you want to just choose premiere pro click premiere pro choose the ones you want to install after we install it we can go to premiere pro now that it's open on the screen here we can just go to window extensions and whichever extensions you have right look through it find premiere composer so i'll click that and then you'll get a little pop-up that comes up right and you can just drag this into the dock and i'm just going to dock it right there next to the rest of this stuff and uh it might give you a little tutorial or a little walkthrough of how to you know use it and what certain things do uh, if you don't want to watch that, just watch this. Here we are, right, in our sequence. We can go ahead and start using the stuff they've given us for free. Now, there are discovery pages and stuff like that. I'm not going to touch on that. I'm just going to touch on the starter pack. So if you drop that down, right, you'll have text boxes. You'll see that it's all pre-animated. If you just hover over it, it'll play the animations, which is really nice. Uh, same with text presets. There are loads of them. It's great. Um, I'm not, again, this is not obviously something you see on this channel in regards to like text presets or motion graphics, but if you use them, and you've been making them by hand or having to go into After Effects to make them and then come back, this might cut out like 10, 20, 30 minutes of your time just because you can click and drag this onto the sequence, right? I'll just click and drag that. It'll bring the motion graphics template from their library, wherever that might be. And you can change the, you know, the text, change the font, change everything like that. Obviously, Mr. Horse is the company. But if I play this back, just like that, that little animated text graphic is in our uh, sequence. Now, what's better than text and animations like that I find that the transitions that come paired with a transition sound perfectly synced with the actual transition. Now, what does that mean, right? Well, let's say we have this sequence right here and I want to end this sequence. I want to have this sequence transition from here to there, right? Because those two shots are different and I want it to be clearly defined that they're separate parts of the sequence. Well, I can just drag a transition onto it. It doesn't matter which one, but let's just say for the sake of this, we'll, uh, we'll go zoom out. Click and drag it onto the sequence, and you'll notice that it's got an audio track and two video tracks. And you can see that the cut, if I zoom in, the cut that it's already there is the cut between the first clip and the second clip. So line that cut up with where the transition point would be between the two shots. And if we play this back, you'll notice that not only is there audio that's paired with it, but there's the actual transition that perfectly seamlessly works on top of your, on top of your footage. So right here, we'll click and play it back. And just like that, I did no work and it basically looks like I went in After Effects, used some sort of expression, modified it, then went back. It took me a quarter second. And if I don't like it, just undo it, you know, we can, we can change it to, uh, maybe we'll use some of these like 3D motion graphic, you know, graphics, literal graphics. We'll come right before it. You'll see that it's red because it's not like rendered or pre-rendered, but that means that it is imported and now it's actually good to go. We'll press play, right? And if I like this, look how easy that was. Dude, I'm telling you, it's game changing especially for client work when you have like a standardization across the board. Let's say like your client wants you to, to find out how their video should look. You can do that not only so quick with this, but then once you do it once in the future, you just come back and drag and drop the things and you can change those colors. You know, you can change the sound. If you don't want the sound, just alt click it and just delete that layer and change the sound. But you have options, man. And the same thing goes here, right? You have some like actual shapes and designs, which is nice. If you're on social media, you're doing some social media stuff, like, you know, you wanted a subscribe button. I can just click and drag this subscribe thing on here. Let's click that. Trentorials, click off of it. Just like that, that simple. It is very, very easy to do all this stuff using just this one software, which is free. And it's hard to wrap your head around the fact that it's free 
because their paid version has probably so much more. Now, I haven't checked out their paid version and I don't want any of this stuff on this. So I just delete it and it's back to what it was. Simple as that. But again, if you don't have a sound effect library, you've got a good amount of sound effects here, which you might find yourself using like transition sounds or like little, you know, text bloops and, and all this other stuff. There's some good stuff in this thing. And I urge you guys to download it, test it out for free. It's free. You might as well see if you like it. If you don't like it, just uninstall it. But it costs you nothing takes almost no time and i promise you that it will elevate your editing game significantly just because you're going to save so much time by using a software like this now i'm not affiliated with this company i'm not sponsored by them hell if you guys see this uh i would love to be because it's a good company and i honestly genuinely respect the product and i have been using the product so again i just wanted to share this with you guys really quickly because obviously if you can speed up your editing workflow that's what i'm here for to help you guys edit better and to help myself edit better. Uh, that's that. That's the whole video. That's just what I wanted to talk about really quickly. Thanks for being here. Thanks for coming back. Um, I will see you guys hopefully soon. I have some bigger projects I'm working on in the back of my mind, like writing, scripting, and stuff like that. They're taking their time. I'm not rushing it. But I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video or if you found anything else on the channel helpful. Uh, and I'll see you soon. See you next time. Goodbye. See ya. Adios. I don't know the word I'm going for. Bye.